Yo, what's going on guys? Sam here. So we've already got iOS 13.3 beta 3. This is absolutely crazy. In the history of iOS, we have never gotten a 0.3 update this early on. So I want to show you guys all the latest features and changes. Apple is not done fixing bugs, ironing out issues, and of course adding new features with iOS 13 just yet. So let's go ahead and take a look at everything that's new in iOS 13.3. Beta 3. If you guys are excited for this update, you know what to do. Drop a like down below, hit subscribe for more. Let's go ahead and jump in. So first up for iOS 13.3, how does RAM management hold up? You know there's been some issues since iOS 13.2, and I'll say it's about the same from my experience on iOS 13.2 as it is on 13.3 beta 1 right now. It works okay sometimes, but other times apps that were just open will tend to reload, especially ones from third parties. Uh, it, it's okay, but it doesn't seem to be getting substantially better, so I think we still have to hold out just a little bit longer for a true RAM management fix. And it's not just my experience, a lot of users over on Reddit are saying the same, that it's still not fixed, even in 13.3 beta 1. Probably the biggest change in iOS 13.3 is the addition of communication limits. Now, this is something that Apple introduced, uh, or really talked about, I should say, when iOS 13 first dropped. But I think they removed it after some time to perfect the feature before releasing it to everyone. Now it's finally out. So allowed communication. Everyone, contacts only, allow introduction in groups. Essentially, if you want to lock down who your child is talking to, or I guess technically anyone, you can now do that in iOS 13. So allowed communication during downtime specific contacts. Uh, and you can actually add new contacts or choose. So if you don't want somebody contacting specific people after certain hours in the day, you can lock that down. So if you're a, if you're a kid, good luck with this one. Hopefully you figure out that password. But uh, if you're a parent, it's going to be great if you, you know, want to restrict who your child is talking to. Definitely very 1984-esque. You can now restrict who people are talking to at certain points in the day. So right here on the home screen, you rarely see these changes, but there actually is a new app icon in iOS 13.3. Some of my favorite things to look at. So the Apple Watch has a black digital crown on 13.2, but in 13.3, it is gray. And that's pretty much the only aesthetic change here. Maybe Apple updated the model from like the Series 4 from 2018 to the Series 5 from 2019. But, uh, oh God, of course, Siri would activate. There's no way unless you had it before or after that I would ever notice this, but uh, it's a nice change and you can show all your friends, you know, when they get the 13.3 update that their icon on the home screen changed. In keyboard settings, there's a new option to disable Memoji stickers inside of iOS 13.3. Let me actually turn it on just to show you guys what I'm talking about. So right here in the messages app, if you go ahead and scroll over right here, you have some nice stickers, but because they're combined, they're kind of annoying that they're right next to normal emojis. So in iOS 13.3, you can actually disable that. So now when you go back, there are no more emojis on the keyboard, and that is just not present anywhere on iOS 13.2. Now, if you have the newer Beats Solo Pro headphones, you may want to wait when updating to iOS 13.3 because Apple has forgotten to include some assets that make the headphones not work super well on the device, which is strange, right? Because they're supported on iOS 13.2, but I guess because Apple was working on iOS 13.3 at that same time, uh, it doesn't work super well right now. And that comes courtesy of a user over on Reddit. And I also want to see if there are any performance gains in iOS iOS 13.3 versus iOS 13.2, so I'm going to run a Geekbench 5 and I'll report back momentarily. All right, so for the Geekbench, we got 13.33 on 13.3 and only 13.28 on 13.2, but then the scores totally flipped and are, are significantly lower on 13.3 than on 13.2. Obviously, both of these phones, 11 Pro and 11, having the exact same processor. So iOS 13.3 right here still has time to improve in the multi-core department, but 13.2 uh, definitely still the overall champion. So guys, that's the story of iOS 13.3. There aren't a ton of changes so far, and I'm sure Apple still has more up their sleeves, but we do get the return of some promised features from the summer and uh, some new cool stuff as well, like you know removing those annoying emojis from the keyboard if you just don't use them. If you enjoyed the video, learn something new, drop a like down below. It does seriously help me out. And of course, hit subscribe so you stay up to date on the latest Apple news. I've been Sam. Hope you guys are doing well, and I'll see all of you in my next video.